Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. We're in a different place today in my bedroom because I thought that this would be a really convenient place for me to film my videos from now on. My baby is in the room with me, so at least I can cater to her needs really quick rather than being in a different room and filming. And I just feel like in the other room, there just isn't a lot of space for her at the moment. Anyway, I remember one of my subscribers, one of you guys, mentioned you would like to see how a makeup look would be with the Blood Money palette. And I was really excited to do that. I've already used the Blood Money palette before, uh, just as a live Facebook video, but I haven't done it on YouTube. So first time doing it on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy this as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. Feel free to, of course, comment below. Let me know what you think, any other looks that you would like to see, maybe some more looks with the same palette. I mean, you can always get different looks out of the same palette. It doesn't just have to be one look, one palette. You know what I'm saying? If you're interested to see how I created this look and have some fun with me, get back into the routine of when we used to have videos together and you would watch me then stay here and first of all you guys can definitely tell that i have done this eye and i will be doing the same style on the other side so that you can follow me as i'm doing the steps also want to mention that I'm doing this makeup tutorial in my bedroom somewhere different and I think this is going to be the best place for me to do this because you're probably aware that I have a newborn. Not so new anymore. She's two months old and about six, seven days, which is amazing. She's done so well. I'm so proud of Celeste and uh, she's currently in her cot. So you may hear her in the background every now and again making some grunting noises because that's how she tries to get herself off to sleep. I'll be priming my eye with this concealer here. It is actually a full coverage foundation but you can use it as a concealer. Uh, it's basically called the Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution you know use my finger to blend it out other times like today I just want to use a brush to blend out this uh, concealer on my eyelid how is everyone by the way Now I'll be using a setting powder. In this case, it is the pressed finishing powder. And what I want to do is use a flat brush. It's faded, so I can't really give you a name, but I'll be tapping this onto my eyelid just to set it in place and make it easier to um, blend the other. Business and I was pretty happy about that. I made a sale today with my Senegence business and I'm pretty happy about that because it means that I've helped somebody else out. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will be using this gorgeous Blood Money palette. And I'm really looking forward to playing with some different shine. I have played with this palette before. This is not the first time. These are all the shades included, plus a mirror that's a huge size, plus a mirror that is huge in size to show what's actually you know inside it okay so as far as shades are concerned and brushes we're going to start off with um, tapping in a light green shade And 
defining it more. I'm going to tap into the shade. I'm going to tap into the shade self made with the dollar sign. And as you can see, it does give a slight definition. And it's a smooth transition. It's not, you know, extremely dark that you would be able to see both, but also um, it looks like it's slowly moving into a couple of darker tones rather than straight into the darker shade. Followed by that, I want to tap into the shade Crocodile Tears, which is at the top corner right here. And of course that's with a smaller brush as well. We're really working on getting the right type of brushes for this look. The great thing about YouTube is that I can just edit this, meaning if I need to go and tend to my daughter, I don't have to um, feel guilty or that I'm not going to be able to be on, uh, on the camera the whole time. Moving on to the shade Black Card Limit, which is a black shimmer right here on the corner. I'll be placing that over the top of the crocodile tears but making sure I don't completely cover it up. I want that green shade to peek through. I wanted to share with you guys the best parts of being a mum and I'm quite sure you're aware of that. I wanted to share with you guys the best parts of being a mum. Cuddles. I just love cuddles with my daughter. She had a little bit of a throw up but apparently that's normal for babies to do that. You feel better now that you've done that, baby? You feel better? Love you. She's grown up so fast. Whoops, you got your frilly thing in your face. I love this so much. Like the joys of babysitting and working in childcare. Now I actually have my own baby to play with and to look after. Getting back into the makeup, I want to use the previous concealer, you've seen it already. We're just going to get that and cut this uh, halo. So it's funny how we use the term cut when it's clearly the skin that you're applying a concealer. Quite looking forward to the next part. So see how I have put concealer in the middle and then basically blended it out making what looks like a tornado shape or you could call it a triangle. I want to use a brush, this one here, it's a very tiny one, to get into the shade Poison Ivy right here and I'm tapping that on the outside like inside where I put the concealer but I'm leaving a gap for one more shade and that will turn it into a halo because it will be gradually getting lighter this case divine intervention which is a white shimmer I believe it's also got a little bit of green all right so for mascara now 
I'm going to be using the Batman one, which was paired with Glam Raider. They work together. And I just thought for fun, why not get a Batman themed mascara? I don't mind it. I've used it before. I find it's a little small. You can see the brush. Now I'll be fixing up the edges and actually making them a lot more sharp. That's with my concealer again. I like to do this all before I do my face because if I do my face first then the mistakes that I make show up on my like over my foundation. Does mum need to help? Do you want mama to help? What I want to do is put the lashes on. These are the ones I'm using today. They're from eBay, so nowhere really uh, specific. But um, I know that my eyes can handle different types of 3D fake lashes. Now that the lashes are done, I can do the rest of my face. So what I'll do is I'll start with primer. You know how important it is for me to prime my skin. I'll make sure that I use this first. Obviously I moisturize before I prime because I need to have hydrated skin as well as just hydrated uh, pores because I don't put the primer all over my face, only in the sections where my pores are bigger, like my cheeks, my forehead, a little bit on my nose, and sometimes my chin area just needs a little bit more primer to help, needs a little bit more primer to help the foundation stay on. Okay, followed by the primer, what I want to do next is actually apply the foundation. In this case, I'm going back to using the Morphe. It's called the Fluidity Foundation. I don't believe it's on sale anymore. They have a new foundation that's come out from Morphe and I can link it below so you guys can check it out in Australia. It may be different in the States, but obviously I'm an Australian, so I'll be ordering from the Australian website. They used to have these and then I found out a couple of weeks ago when I was just going through to see if I could add more products to my cart because I love to order new things and see what else is at Morphe. I didn't see the Fluidity Foundation anymore. However, I think the foundation shades might be similar so hopefully I can find the same one in this new foundation that they've created. In this case, I'm using the F3.70 and it's matte. I like using matte foundations. I find that by having a matte foundation, then I can add shine to my face if I want it. I already know that my skin glows, so I just don't feel the need to have dewy foundations. I stopped using this type of Morphe foundation when I was pregnant because the smell is quite strong. 
So if you are a pregnant woman looking for a foundation, I would clearly advise you not to use Morphe, the type that I'm using currently. The new one may not have any fragrances, I don't know because I haven't tried it, but this one definitely does. It's very strong. I stayed clear away from it while I was pregnant, but I'm obviously fine to use it now because I've already had my beautiful baby and I'm not pregnant at the moment. Now I want to set my face with a powder. I decided, haven't done it yet, but I think it might be an idea for me to add a liner underneath my eyes just to make them a little bit smaller. That's why I use black. In this case, I'll be using the Morphe Black Matte Liner. It is pencil and it's called a dark room. So I'll apply that underneath my eyes with an added black matte eyeshadow. I went off camera and I did a glitter line over the top of my halo cut crease and that is what I'm going to be doing on this side as well. Using this type of glitter, it's an eyeliner glitter, I think you can also use it on your lips, but anyway, it's definitely for your eyes, okay, so on your eyelids. This is called the Gimme Glitter Liner and it's by Rude Cosmetics. I did actually order from Berserk and they're an Australian website. They also ship to New Zealand. I'm not entirely sure about them shipping to the USA or Canada, but definitely Australia and New Zealand. They partnered with Rude Cosmetics and sell Rude Cosmetic products, which is really quite awesome because I also have had Rude Cosmetic eyeshadow palettes in the past that I've used and I really enjoyed them. Continuing with the face, I'm going to be using this butter bronzer, something very light and simple. It actually does come with a brush, but I won't be using that. I want to use my own brush. I like using my own brushes for most uh, products when I know that they work really well for my skin. Vania, 
by BH Cosmetics. Seeing as we used a Jeffree Star Cosmetics product for the eyeshadow, I thought it would be quite cool to also do a highlight uh, with a Jeffree Star Cosmetics product. In this case, it's the Platinum Ice. And these are the gorgeous six shades inside. I'm thinking pink chills or pink chill bottom middle. just brushed out my hair nothing really exciting but of course you can see that my hair does have blue and a little bit of green in it because I recently got it recolored and I just love the fact that even though my roots grew out I still um, have most of my hair you know the color blue um, basically a color that is you know different <laughs> um, basically a color that is the opposite to my natural color i love this all right i'm just going to spray my face and that'll be the finished look i have a smell i've used it once i'm looking forward to using it again all right here we go To tell you the type of smell, I believe it is watermelon. That's certainly the vibe that I get from spraying this on my face. Anyway, it feels so good, refreshing, very light on my skin. This is the final look. Thanks guys so much for joining me. I look forward to doing some more tutorials in the future, of course, because my channel is about you know sharing stuff that I enjoy doing what I'm passionate about my journey of being a mum and how I manage it all basically you guys are fantastic I wish you all the best this year because you deserve it any success and love you absolutely deserve it bye now <laughs>